Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I make fun little tips and tricks videos here on YouTube. Today, I'm going to showcase how to back up your files. Well, if you have a mega base like me, or if you have a larger mega base, I mean, mine's only day 143. I had a mega base that was day 2500, and unfortunately, I never did a backup of it, and I lost it. Uh, recovering it from a day 1000 was just too kind of sad for me so unfortunately i just gave up and i started a new one but that being said if you have a world that's very important to you and you want to back it up here is how you do it okay so first things first you're going to go to click on on the little folder here and it's going to say open cluster with a number next to it click on that when you're inside of that you can then go and highlight everything that's in here and click copy as soon as you do that you can drag that over to a usb stick or another folder uh, perhaps like under you know my documents or wherever you want to save it you can just go to like you know make a new folder call that backup and then basically put your file in there okay so you can do that in order to keep a backup now that backs up your file but i want to show you how to restore it okay so how do we restore this world well same situation you would go open cluster 20 now you're going to copy and then you're going to scroll up to whatever generic world that you might have so here's one that's day two in autumn open cluster 17 and within here it's going to you're going to see a bunch of stuff here you're going to highlight all these you're going to click delete okay so now i'm clicking delete i'm not allowing it to delete and i'm going to right click and paste so now it's pasted all my stuff from the previous files that you've seen from, from cluster 20 to cluster 17. And then we're gonna exit out of Don't Starve Together. Once we do so, we're gonna reopen Don't Starve Together. Go ahead and reload it real quick. And then once we load back in, the world is, the game is now recreating those clusters. It's now, kind of reorganizing them, re-registering them, make sure, making sure that they're all good. And when we go to our host game, we scroll all the way down and now we have three copies of it. And the reason is because I've already done one copy just to make sure that it works. And you can see that cluster three and now the cluster 17 that we had before that we copied over to is now showing a copy of our mega base. So hypothetically, if you didn't have these ones here, for example, if you wanted to drag this over to a new computer, the new computer that you had would have the new file and all that stuff. So let's click on that to make sure that it loads in and it's going to have all of our settings, all of our mods that we predetermined uh, and pre-selected. Click on resume world and let's see what happens. So if you're not really looking to restore your, your server and you're just looking to back it up, of course, step one that I showed you will be fine for that. But if you're looking to make multiple copies of it, for example, if you want to manipulate it or if you want to make a copy just for uh, experimenting something before changing your main world, that's something that you can do. Of course, you can also drag that over to another computer um, and make a copy of it, like I said, by doing the same situation. So that is how you'd go ahead and do that. And then once you launch the server, it probably will take a few minutes because it's kind of reinitializing like the new cluster with the new information um, and it might take a little bit to load in, especially because it has a lot of configurations to kind of play around with. Um, I always find that whenever I back up and restore my server or restore my files now, um, usually it takes anywhere from a minute to two minutes to really connect in. Um, but then once you actually get in there, it should take a lot. It should take like two or three minutes to, to or sorry, two or three seconds to actually get in, depending on the, the speed of your computer, of course. Uh, obviously, everyone's computer has different uh, specs inside of it, so it all is predetermined that way. And now we're officially loading into our, our Megabase world, and as soon as we connect in, everything should be exactly the same as we had before. And sure enough, it is. There we go. And look, everything's exactly how it was just as we left it. Nothing's changed. I'm still the same character, same date is set, and all that other stuff. So there it is. That is how you do it. That is how you back up your files, and that's how you restore your files. I hope this video helped you out, and I will see you in the next video.